What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to service the transfer case on this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. First thing I wanna do is loosen up the fill plug. I wanna make sure I take the fill plug out first before I drain the fluid out. Otherwise, if you can't get the fill plug out afterwards, you won't be able to put oil in the transfer case. So take a 16 millimeter wrench, loosen up this fill plug, and we broke it free. I'm just gonna pull it out. Pull it out. There should be a seal on there. Yep. So if it gets stuck there, take that seal off. Now on the other side is the drain plug, right here. Make sure you put a oil bucket underneath a catch, catch pan. Use that same 16 millimeter wrench. And take this drain plug out. And drain out the fluid. And that looks pretty bad. So it's a good thing we're changing it. All right, I just want to take a rag, clean up the drain plug area. If there's any dirt, get the dirt out. And I'm gonna take the drain plug, clean that up, and use a new seal. If your seal doesn't look too bad and you don't have a new one, you can reuse the old one. But it's always a good idea to replace it. Put the drain plug back in. Right now, it's very difficult to get a torque wrench in there. I can't get the torque wrench in there because it's too tight close to the transmission pan. So uh, the torque for this bolt would be 24 foot-pounds. So do the best you can with that. I'm just gonna snug it up with a wrench. Not too tight. Now we're gonna fill it. So I'm gonna take the appropriate fluid. You can check your owner's manual to see what kind of fluid you need. And I'm gonna use this extraction and filling pump that we actually sell at 1aauto.com. Right. I'm just gonna suck this out. And then push the fluid right into the transfer case. Make sure you still have the drain bucket underneath because it is gonna start to pour out when it's full. Oh, it's starting to pour out. I'm just gonna put my finger over the hole, let it disperse. Wait a minute or so, and then let it drain out. You want the fluid right at to the base of the hole, which is good. Uh, it's got a nice stream, so. It's good. It's important to make sure your vehicle is level when you're doing this, because if the vehicle wasn't level, you're gonna either add too much or not enough. All right, so just clean this up a little bit. Make sure there's no dirt on there. Clean up the fill plug, put a new seal on it. Get this started. And the same on this. You're not gonna be able to use a torque wrench because this bar is in the way. So just tighten it the best you can. I'm just gonna use our wrench. You would tighten this to 24 foot-pounds, but 16 millimeter wrench and just snug it up. That's good. Just take a little brake parts cleaner, clean this all up, and wipe it down with a rag. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.